Hi all folks, this is Max from Nexus1Hacks.net. Today I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu on your Android without destroying your Ubuntu, which uh, you can run on top of Ubuntu. So first, connect your uh, Nexus1 to your computer. And uh, I'm assuming that you've downloaded the zip file uh, I'm providing. And then connect via USB. So turn on USB storage. By the way, I'm using a rooted phone. You need a rooted phone. I'm using a rooted Froyo ROM here. Uh, I believe you can do the same with the 2.1 also. Shouldn't matter. So, once that connects, uh, you'll want to copy over the whole zip file. I've already did, but I'll, let me just show you what it looks like. So, this is my... Um, this is my... SD card on my Nexus One, and you should have copied over the whole Ubuntu directory. This one, and uh, you should have six files in there, uh, like seen here. So once you have that, you can uh, turn off USB storage. Okay, turn it off, and you'll also want to make sure your um, Nexus One or your Android phone, phone is uh, in uh, development mode. So go to Settings, Applications, Development, and make sure USB debugging is checked on like that. All right, and then we're fine. Next, we're gonna open up. Uh, we're gonna open up a a command prompt. By the way, or you can open up a terminal in uh, Linux. I find Linux is a lot easier to use than Mac, but since a lot of you are using Windows, you can do it on the Windows. So these are just the directions that. So I'm gonna just uh, follow my directions that I wrote here that I'll be publishing real soon. Um, so first thing you'll want to do is uh, go to uh, your SDK drive. For me it's under SDK uh, tools. Can you see? Can you see? Cool. I'm pause real quick. So go to SDK tools, enter, and then do ADB shell. And then you should get a little sharp sharpie thing. Once you're in ADB shell, you want to put it in SU mode. It's a super user, so type SU and enter. And then we want to do CD slash SD car slash Ubuntu. That's where where we just uh, copied all the files. And then we can do LS minus L to check. As you can see, we got the six files here. Next, you will want to do uh, run the install file, which is the Ubuntu.sh. So go sh dot slash Ubuntu.sh. And uh, you should get some some error messages, but uh, it just means it's probably booted. So let's try to boot up Ubuntu in a ch root. So just type boot Ubuntu, and voila! If you get root at localhost like this, that means you're um, you're inside the uh, Ubuntu ch root. So next part is. Next, you'll want to uh, update your Ubuntu um, via apt-get. So do apt-get update. This will update your um, Ubuntu into the latest, you know, packages and whatnot. And once that's done, you can do uh, apt-get. Next, we're going to install first the type VNC server, which allows you to uh, run your Ubuntu that's running into a VNC uh, so you can actually view it on your phone not just in command line so do apt-get install pipe VNC server and then say yes and that will install the uh, pipe VNC server
Okay, and next we can do app get install LXDE. I believe this is a shell for it. Uh, so do that and install that. And say yes. So that's installing. That's going to take a little bit. I'll be right back after this is done. So that just finished installing. It took like five minutes. Next, we're going to type export user equal root enter. And then we're going to do VNC server dash geometry uh, space dash geometry like geometry class 1024 by 800. This is the resolution you're going to set. I find it it's actually make it a little bit bigger than the actual resolution of the Nexus one to have uh, the best resolution on your VNC. So enter and you'll need to enter a password just use like 123 123 123 or oh, you can you know that's what I'm just gonna do for demo purposes and then would you like to enter if you only say no don't need it. Um, next we're gonna do um, we're gonna do cat. Uh, that's symbol, and then slash root slash dot vnc slash x startup. This will change. We're gonna add some uh, code into here. Uh, this basically replaces the x startup. I mean, you can use a file editor, but for people using Windows, you'll have to use cat. Because uh, so you can just copy and paste, but I'm just gonna type it slash bin slash sh enter and then xrdb home slash dot x resources accept root dash solid ray and then icwm and then x lx session okay and then hit Control D twice like this, and then Enter, and that'll save it under that uh, startup. That way, you don't have to use another editor. That's the only reason I use this. But um, also, next we're gonna see. Uh, go back to our phone, all right? And you're gonna download. Oh, hopefully you've installed the uh, Android Android VNC. All you gotta do is for a rooted phone, download the APK file, and uh, I didn't show you steps for that, and uh, open it up in your Android and install it. And then you're gonna set uh, the password to 123123, what you set, address to localhost, and then port to 5901, and then connect. And then there you have it. Oops, there you have it. So we, we got the, uh, the Ubuntu desktop. You can uh, zoom in. You know, at all the applications and if you move it around you can zoom back out and uh, if you hold on to it you can actually move the uh, cursor see oops all right there we go <coughs> camera angle anyway that's how you install the uh, Ubuntu on your Android and the GUI is just for you know purposes I probably wouldn't use it but the best part is the CH rooted Ubuntu which runs really fast on top of Android um, and also there's additional directions if you want to get this up and running all the time so let me show you that too so go back to the shell and we're gonna add some more code to the slash dot bash RC file which uh, will automatically run the BNC server when you ch root into or boot your Ubuntu so we're just gonna do a cat uh, that sign in front we're gonna make a new file and type export user equal root and then cd slash rm minus r minus f tmp mkdir tmp cd slash and then we're gonna do vnc server space dot dash jaw the tree 1024 by 800 and then uh, enter 
Then we're gonna do uh, Control D twice and enter, and that'll save it as a uh, file called front. And then uh, we're gonna we're gonna put that file and also the root dot ehrc into a file called temp. This will add these two files into temp, and then enter. And then next we're gonna do uh, cp temp slash root slash dot b bash rc and this will copy that temporary file we created into slash root dot bh rc and then now it will run when uh, when it boots so we can test it out just do exit and then you're back into android shell and do boot uh, ubuntu and you should get a thing saying it's also running uh, there you go so it's started. So anytime we want, we can go back to the Android shell. Let me exit out of this and then connect it again. Oops. There we go. So now, anytime you want to use this, you can always uh, do that. And let me also show you how to do this without connecting your computer. So let me close everything. Let me unhook everything. Let's say for some reason you want to just go into the shell then you can download this app called terminal emulator this one and just type su and then type uh, boot ubuntu ubuntu right. and then once that's running just uh, start running the android vnc connect and voila you can run um, the shell and also the Ubuntu GUI you know on the go and you can always switch press on the home button and just press on any of these home button again then you're back in Android and then you can always go back hold on to it go with it back to VNC voila isn't that cool anyway there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this now uh, what I'm going to try to do is install some uh, maybe Wi-Fi hacking for testing purposes and see if I can actually make it run on the Nexus one which will make it a Wi-Fi web cracking device or I'm gonna try to put a WordPress blog I mean anything that runs on Ubuntu means now it will run on Nexus one how many apps can you think of that runs on Ubuntu and Linux like thousands millions uh, this makes this phone you know that much more awesome and next time I'm gonna try it on my uh, my Evo 4G, so I'll have that next on HTC Evo Hacks. And thanks you all uh, for watching my video. Uh, please, you know, vote up. <laughs> thanks. See y'all later.